there's a current new round of public comment and what we need everybody to do is to look at the 356 sites that the BLM has inventoried and we have that file we asked for it and got it from the BLM so we have the GPS coordinates of the sites if you're someone who's camped in this area if you're someone who wants to camp in this area you need to look at these sites and see if any of these sites are sites that you've used if you've used these before we need you to go and comment to the BLM and let the BLM know you want that site kept open because there's no guarantee that they'll leave these 356 sites open um, they could reduce them based on various resource impacts that they're concerned about. And so if you use these, you need to add your voice for them to keep it open. So what are the resource impacts that they're worried about? Um, so first of all, they've be, this has become an area that's increased in popularity. Um, Vehicle-based camping has exploded in use. You have the, the van life crowd, you have the overlanders, you have RV community tent campers. Uh, I've been out there in this area. I've been on hundreds of miles of the trails out there documenting the condition of the trails. And I've identified myself dozens and dozens of these sites. And I've seen campers, I've seen people in minivans, I've seen people in Subarus, I've seen people in overland rigs, I've seen full-size RVs out there. I've seen the um, modified Sprinter vans. Everybody who camps in a car is out in this area using it. Um, so there are a bigger number of users. That's one of the resource impacts they're managing for.